as you were mentioning there, Justin, we've seen several rounds of showers and thunderstorms pushing through at the current time. Storms to the north, storms down to the south, storms in between. These storms right here approaching the Danville area back to Campbellsville coming into Monticello. None of those are severe, but we'll definitely keep an eye on it. They're working into an atmosphere here across central Kentucky uh, where things are still unstable, but not as much as to the north or to the south. That's why those storms are really getting fired up. Let's go through some of the damage reports here from earlier on. Look here, damage report. This was back over parts of Fayette County earlier, and it was tracking our wind damage report that we had coming in there. Plus, you work way over into parts of Bourbon County, several damage reports. You'll notice this is where the line of storms was tracking earlier this morning, where the greatest damage was, and then no reports to the south because remember, this area missed out on the first round of precipitation. Let's talk, though, about the power outages that we currently still have that are out there. Fayette County, the outages this uh, right now are approaching about six to 7,000 for Fayette County. Bourbon County is over 1,000. So is Clark County and also back into Jessamine County. Higher numbers over to Louisville. Over here toward Charleston, we're talking about power outages over 56,000 customers. Again, that's in West Virginia, but that is big time power outages. The confirmed tornadoes, as Andrea was mentioning earlier, some of these are preliminary, meaning that the National Weather Service is still out doing the survey. It's not completed, but at this time, Anderson, Jessman, Nelson, and Boyd counties all confirmed EF1 with winds strongest in Jessman County of at 110 miles per hour. You can get the updates on our forecast, plus the next big thing, tracking these storms on the radar on the Fox 56 weather app. Just scan that QR code or search Fox 56 weather. It's free in your app store. We'll